What's going on guys, Sal here, and today we're going to be laying down the verdict on Titanfall. Now Titanfall has had a lot of hype around it heading into its launch, and I can understand that a lot of people are sitting on the fence as to whether or not they want to jump into the game and lay down $60 on it, which I can understand. $60 is a big investment for any game, so you want to know if you're getting a game that is any good. So with this video, I'm going to be exploring what's working with Titanfall and maybe what's not working as well. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's decide if Titanfall really is the great A shooter that it has been hyped up to be. Now before we get into too many technicalities, I just want to talk about the core gameplay itself, and probably the best word I have to describe just the gameplay itself is just fun. I really can't think of a better word to describe it, and I think it's unfortunate because a lot of the time when games are developed, the developers get so caught up in all of the technicalities that sometimes the final product is just, it's lacking that fun factor, which is unfortunate. But with Titanfall, Respawn Entertainment has hit that mark spot on. Now, why is that? Why does Titanfall have just this fun factor that makes it so appealing? Well, it really boils down to the fact that there is never a dull moment. Whether you're wall running, wall jumping, you're in a Titan, there's just so many things to do, and even when you're not doing something, you always have those AI to fill in the gaps. So it really creates this seamless experience where you really don't really have downtime at all which is really cool because it creates this atmosphere that is so action-packed and even when you're not killing other pilots the AI they're a nice filler I know a lot of people were worried that the AI would ruin the game but they don't and if, if anything they add to the game and create a larger experience so overall the core gameplay itself really is unparalleled in my experience and I haven't had this much fun playing a first-person shooter in quite some time and also just the overall maneuverability of the characters in the game really does add to the experience even when you're in a tight they're 18 feet tall and they can move pretty quick they're very agile and some of them aren't as agile but for the most part the Titans are pretty quick so it makes moving around the map a lot easier and you don't really have downtime when you're moving from one location to another and not to mention that the overall design of the maps is on the smaller side so you won't really find yourself in a location of the map where there is just nothing happening and also with the pilots themselves moving around the map is just a blast because parkour and wall running will get you around extremely fast and wall running and parkour it's a lot easier than you might think and it is just a ton of fun so even when you're moving around the map that is still just an amazing experience now on a more technical note the servers in Titanfall they just work the hit detection is perfect I don't think I've been shot around a wall at all I think a few times I thought I did but it was actually from splash damage so overall just the game just works I mean Battlefield 4 I'm sure if you've played that game you've had your fair share of frustrating getting shot through a wall experience and there is none of that in Titanfall I was even playing on some European servers I'm in North American and I was having no problems at all and it was just such a refreshing experience compared to that of Battlefield 4 so the gameplay of Titanfall itself really is pretty awesome but the overall game itself it does seem to be lacking a few features like for example there are no custom games which is a little bit of a letdown but for what it's worth respawn has promised those in an update and they've had a few things that they want to add just like little things like being able to see your party on the mini map and things like that they do want to add those things and it sounds like they might have run out of time i don't know why that would be maybe ea perhaps i don't know i'm just speculating here but anyways there are some things that the game definitely does lack and it seems that those things have been promised in updates but overall there just aren't a lot of game modes right now and so the game does feel a little bare bones at the moment though for what it's worth updates have been promised there is DLC and we don't know exactly what the DLC will be so right now the game does feel bare bones but the core gameplay itself really does make up for what the game lacks as far as game modes and variety now the game does have a campaign but it's basically in matchmaking and it doesn't really feel as immersive as I kind of hoped it would be so the campaign was a little bit of a letdown and it wasn't that amazing it doesn't really feel like anything worthwhile so it would have been nice to have a real campaign but on the plus side with the fact that they didn't have to make a campaign it seems that they've had a lot of time to make a lot of maps and we actually have 15 multiplayer maps which is just a lot and a lot of the time I find myself playing on maps and I'm thinking wow I don't even really remember this map so that map variety really is a very welcome feature because as far as gameplay goes, I've spent far, far more time in the multiplayer side of things. Now also, it's worth the note that there have been some just technical problems with Titanfall on the PC. If you're on the Xbox One, this won't affect you, or the Xbox 360 for that matter. But on the PC, some people with higher end graphics cards have been having to turn down their settings, and that's likely just due to lack of optimization.
optimization and in future patches we will hope to see an improvement in these things because they definitely have been noted by respawn and they want to fix the frame rate issues now another thing another technical issue has been kind of weird with just the vertical sync if you turn it on there's this weird delay and if you turn it off the screen tearing is just really bad and that turns out that that's because the frame the frame rate is locked to 60, though this is another thing that they hope to address in the very next patch, and they said that should be out within a month or two. So there are some technical issues, but I'm crossing my fingers that they will be fixed. The last time I did that, DICE kind of screwed me over, so I mean... For what it's worth, they said they'll fix it, but you never know with game developers these days. Now, with all that being said, is Titanfall a game that you should go for? Should you buy this game? Well, it really depends on who you are. If you are a person that just loves first-person shooters, then I will say with a resounding yes, Titanfall will be a game that you will for sure enjoy. Though if you're not really sure about first-person shooters, you've seen Titanfall, and if you're still unsure if the gameplay looks like it's something that you will enjoy, then wait. I can guarantee you Titanfall will go on sale at some point. Don't rush into the game if you don't think it's something that you're going to enjoy, because first-person shooters are definitely not for everybody in any game. There's no game that everyone will like. Though I will say Titanfall for me has been a game that I have truly enjoyed quite a lot. So what's the verdict on Titanfall? Yes, there are times where the game does feel like its lack of features and game modes makes it feel rather bare bones and lacking, but the core gameplay itself delivers on so many levels and makes up for the lack of game modes and just delivers a grade A first person shooter title that I think any lover of the genre will most certainly enjoy. So guys, this has been a Sal. I hope you've enjoyed this review on Titanfall and if you have enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, be sure to hit that like button. I do always appreciate that and if you want to see more Titanfall content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So guys, with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.